friends and welcome back to my art studio. So today we're going to be doing more card painting. I'm super excited. Um, the most commented one last time was Rapunzel. So that's what we're going to be doing today is Tangled. I'm super excited. I rewatched the movie and then I rewatched it again. So I've watched it twice and I'm just super excited. I love that movie so much and you almost like I almost forgot how much I loved it until I rewatched it and so now I'm just like fangirling and I'm super excited to paint these cards. Just a little recap, we do four cards per movie and I've already done like Frozen. I don't have a video on this one but I have a video on the rest. Moana, which there is a video for. Also done Stitch, Snow White. So Today we're going to be adding four more Rapunzel cards and I'm super excited so let's get into it. Okay so the first thing that I do is just take washi tape and cut off the border just so we have a fresh clean outline of the card. And then I do a thick base coat of the background color which with Rapunzel I decided to do purple, this like mauved purple. And the first one that I do is Rapunzel. Um, if you don't know, I do transfer these images. If you don't know how to transfer, you can check out my other card videos. I go in depth about how to do that. I started out with a skin color and I was able to match it like pretty well. I always have a reference picture next to the card just to make sure I'm like color matching and stuff. And with the hair, like I just decided to go a little bit more blonde and bold and yellow on purpose because it does glow and I don't know, I was just playing around with that idea. But I still wanted to like shade the hair. So I did go like a darker orangish yellow and like I did add some brown later to kind of like shadow it a little bit. But I decided not to go so like I guess dirty blonde as Rapunzel's hair actually is in this picture that I have. I decided to just go like super bright. And of course my camera cuts off at the most horrible time and I missed recording of me fixing the eyes. So it went from looking absolutely horrible or like it looked it went from looking absolutely scary to normal <laughs> and I missed the footage of me actually recording the eyes because my camera just cut off so that's really upsetting but I actually am really happy I do feel like she's a little bit more like bug-eyed as if she as if she's like holding her eyes really wide like she's kind of shocked or something um, in my image versus hers and I try to fix that later with the outline when I'm outlining everything I also started doing the outlines and details with paint instead of using my micron markers um, I did this because not only did I get really thin paint brushes to work with, but also when I was using my microns a lot of the time they would like scrape up the paint off the card and that was really annoying like no matter how much I like pressed down with them. So I decided to just start using paint. And then the oddly satisfying tape pool. So this is the next one that I did. Um, he's so cute. I, when I was looking for images to reference for him, I could not resist the one with the bow tie. I just couldn't. The bow tie just warmed my heart and made it so cute. I couldn't resist it. So of course I added in the pink little bow tie. He was one of honestly the easiest out of this card set, um, the Rapunzel card set, just because like he is very color blocked. Like he's just one giant green color and then his eyes are like color blocked and then like the bow tie. I hope that that makes sense. Like yes there's shading but it's very like blocked off if that makes sense. So he was very easy and I feel like he looks the most like his character um, with the finished product. I did do like a second coat of green over him and made it a little bit darker in some spots just so that we do get that shading effect. And then I added some yellow as well to the top of his um, mouth just to shade in that like light yellow color that he has and I think that this worked perfectly. At first I thought it was a little too bold but the more I like shaded it and blended it in um, it looked fine. And then for outlining. Outlining the image always brings the picture to life. A thick black outline always just like makes me really happy and um, just brings the character to life and I love it. I know that, like the original 
cartoon doesn't have thick black outline, but I think that it just works better for, I guess, my style. I'm not sure. Okay, so next is Flynn Rider, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you right now that he was the most difficult card to paint in this series. Like, well, in this series as in, in the Rapunzel cards. Um, he gave me some trouble. So at first his skin color was a little off, but I thought, well, he still looks tan, it's going to be fine. But then I decided to go back over it with a different tone because his skin is very like red toned tan, if that makes sense. I went back over it and I thought I matched it pretty good. The hair was easy to match, but when it came to his facial features, that is what really started to get me. Um, it was the hardest. And I did think about and kind of fault myself on making his nose wrong just because in the movie that's such a hilarious joke is that they always get his nose wrong on the wanted posters. So I did think about doing his nose wrong on purpose, but then I decided not to. Um, and I always say, like, in paintings, like, there's always a moment where it just looks kind of scary or ugly, and then the more you layer it and the more you work with it, the better it looks. And with this, I'm not saying that it gets worse from here. It does start looking a little bit more normal, but I'm just saying it doesn't necessarily look like Flynn Rider at the end. <laughs> I do think that I got his shirt and outfit pretty spot on. I was able to match those colors, and the more I, like, mixed and blended and... All those things, like, I feel like I got his shirt and his outfit pretty spot on. It's just his facial features that I was having such a hard time with. Like, I know right now he looks scary, and most paintings do look a little weird and scary when, like, the face isn't finished and you have to keep layering and stuff. Like, that's normal, and I always tell you guys, just keep going, it'll get better. <laughs> but... I don't know. Shading his face, I feel like, did help with the nose and stuff. Shading his face right here, I feel like that did help a lot. Um, adding in eyebrows always changes so much about a character. Don't forget eyebrows. Um, and I thought that, like, it was pretty much done other than, like, outlining. When you outline the eyes and give it some dimension, um, I thought it would look a little bit better. But the mouth, the mouth is what stressed me out the absolute most. So, like, in the reference picture, he has teeth showing. And that is always, like, difficult for me and hard for me because, especially on an image this tiny and using tiny brushes, it was hard for me to, like make it look like he has individual teeth so I thought well in some cartoons they just have like a strip of white for teeth so that's kind of what I was going to try to go for but the more I tried to like outline his lips and outline his like mouth the worse it looked it almost looked like he had like a mustache or something so I tried to like dilute it by putting his skin color over the black outline on his lips and I don't know I just feel like the mouth the nose and the eyes don't look that bad but the mouth like throws the face off so much to me that I'm not sure if it really looks like him. I don't know if I'm being hard on myself. Please let me know in the comments because this stressed me out. This is Flynn Rider. I feel like he looks like a different character. I don't know if it's just me, but I don't know. And the next one is Maximus. The noble steed. <laughs> You know how they always say, like, a prince will show up on a white horse and save you or whatever? Like, that literally happens in Tangled, and I didn't even think about that or realize it until I was painting this card, and my brain realized it was a white horse, and then thought about the plot of the movie and was like, oh. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just start out giving a good, thick, white base to the horse. Um, I had to do two layers because the background was, like, so dark. And for like the back legs and any shading I just use like a really light gray and I kind of just use the same color that I used on Rapunzel's hair on his hair I just lightened it a little bit like added some white to it sometimes when I'm trying to clean my brush off I'll just clean it off on the tape right there because I know it's not gonna mess anything up like no big deal and then I just started adding all of his little details with his gear and all of that stuff 
His eyes did stress me out, and if you zoom in too close at the end, they do look pretty bad. But from this distance and from a normal distance, I feel like they look okay. They end up looking decent. But it was hard because they're not like outlined. They're kind of just like sunk. They're like sink in his face in like the reference picture. It like sinks in his face and it's got like kind of a dark brown outline. I don't know. I feel like Maximum looks fine. He ends up looking cute. He just looks more like the cartoon series of Rapunzel more so than this like tangled reference picture, which is fine. That means it still looks like the character. So I'm happy with it. I do like how it turned out. Then I covered them all in Mod Podge and did the letters at the top. I decided to do the J's for them. And this is how they all turned out. Um, I'm relatively pretty happy with all of them. I just, Flynn still kind of like bothers me, but I don't think it looks that bad. I really am happy with how this set turned out. Alright, that's going to be it for this video. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Rapunzel is definitely my favorite and I think that... Flynn Rider looks a little weird, but that's okay. I'm still really happy with how they turned out. Make sure that you comment down below which one you want me to do next. Anything like Disney, Pixar, anything like that is fair game. So comment what movie you'd like me to do next down in the comments, and I'll pick one of the comments to do. And also, make sure you're subscribed because I post videos every single week, and I wouldn't want you to miss it. Bye! Falling, oh, I fall so hard for you.